I really thank God so much. Who abides in his servant. God of missionary and the founder mother. I really thank him so much. Because of my life. Amen. 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 Umeletwa. You've been brought. God of the founder mother has brought you here. Be ready this morning. There's a word to deliver you treasure in the sound of God. Be ready, settle, and listen. Conquer with the spirit of God in his servant. There's deliverance to all of you. You'll be delivered. God has prepared a word of life in the man of God that you may be delivered and get from your own. I also have a lot of that I'm not delivered from. I'm here listening and learning in the man of God. I ask you to bow down our heads. Ndani ya mtumishi wako. Nina kushukuru bwana kwa upendo wako wa pekee ambao bwana umetupenda, umetukimia tena asubuhi ya leo. Umeavuta watu wako kutoka sehemu mbalimbali, umewakusanya bwana asubuhi ya leo mbele ya mtumishi wako. Nina hakika mwana wa Mungu huku waleta bure, una lengo na kila nafsi uliyoikusanya asubuhi ya leo. Asante bwana, maana kuna neno kuu umeliweka tayari ndani ya moyo mtumishi wako nami mwana wa Mungu utaja ya watu wako kujifunza kupokea yale ambayo Bwana ameyatarisha na ifungue ibada hii mikononi mwako nikiamini mwokozi uko pamoja nasi na ni kwa jina la Yesu mwokozi wetu amen neno ndugu zangu linakuja the word is coming be ready. The man of God has been prepared for your Welcome sake. Welcome the servant of God. New leaders in the service. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana wapendwa. Amen. You have peace. Namshukuru Mungu wetu. We thank our God. Kakutulinda. For securing us. Tangu mwezi jana paka tena ametujalia kuiona mwezi wa leo. From last month till has enabled us again to see this month. Mepewa mwezi 
mzima wa usalama been given a very well safe ulinzi hapa na pale security around yaliopita Mungu aliyapanga hivyo what is past god plan that way lakini wewe na mimi tumejaliwa neema yake kubwa but for you and i have been enabled his Christ Yesu bwana wetu Christ Jesus our lord shetani amekuinda kwa mengi he has secured us from all lakini Kristo Yesu bwana wetu ametukinga naye Christ Jesus our lord has saved us and fought for us tena ametupa nafasi asubuhi ya leo till again he has given us a chance this morning kukumbushana to remind ourselves Sitaacha kusema kukumbushana. I never forsake saying reminding ourselves. Maana ni mbali tumetoka ni mengi tumeyasikia. Because we've had a lot to come from far. Ambayo ni ya kutufanya that ought to make us to reach mema, we inherit good things, na uzima, and life, na amani, and peace. Ambayo Bwana Yesu alikuja kutusumbukia kwa hiyo. That the Lord just came to suffer for. Kini tunakumbushana. We are reminding ourselves kwa sababu moyo wa mwanadamu because a human heart ni msaaulifu very forgetful na shetani ndiye hufanya mwanadamu and the devil that makes a human being apewe kusahau la Mungu kutojali la Mungu not to care the word of god to forget the word of god ndio dunia nzima that the whole world imejaa kutojali la Mungu is full of not caring the word of god leo tuko makanisani today we are in churches lakini wakitoka kila mmoja na mambo yake but when you go out everybody has its own affairs mapili tu it's only on sunday ndio kila mmoja anahakikisha ameenda kuabudu everybody makes sure he has gone to worship lakini but shetani ameuteka ulimwengu the devil has captured the world ameunasa he has trapped the world hallelujah hallelujah ameunasa kwa mengi he has trapped the world in so many areas ndio sisi tuko hapa kukumbushana lilopewa baba mwanzilishi akauliza yeye unanituma nianzishe kanisa na makanisa yako mengi mengi uh, wahubiri wako so nifundishe nini what will i teach ndisha imani teach faith na utakatifu and holiness wote wawe na umoja that they all may be one amen, amen. Neno utakatifu the word holiness ambapo chuo kinasema which the bible says bila hilo without which hakuna atakayemuona bwana no one will see the lord bila hilo mungu anasema hakuna atakayemuona bwana without no one will see the lord ndio neno aliyopewa baba kuzingatia that is the word was given to a father to observe na wakao mmoja na mama mwanzilishi they were so united with the founder mother amen amen ndio waona tuko ni kama hatuko lakini tuko that's why you see as if you are not there or present maana yeye alipewa kuzingatia neno utakatifu because he was given to consider the word holiness maana yake the meaning is kutembea katika kwa la Mungu walking in that of god siku lisoma tu na kujifunza tu not only reading and learning lakini kutembea ndani yake but walking in the word kujifunza kutembea ndani yake learning to walk in the word kujifunza kutembea ndani yake learning to walk in the word kujifunza kutembea ndani yake learning to walk in the word Haleluya. Haleluya. Kwa hivyo karibuni sana. So welcome so much. Tena sana tena sana. And again so much. Mlio hapa mlio nje huko duniani. Those who are here and those who are outside the world. Karibuni kwa jina la Yesu. Welcome in the name of Jesus. Sitaacha kusema ni Mungu wetu asiye na upendeleo. A lot for sake saying our God is no respect of persons. Ana tofauti ya Muyahudi wala Muyunani. He has no difference between the Jew or the Greek. Yeye ni bwana kwa wote wa mitao. He is Lord unto all who call upon him. Tena ni kwa wote wa mitao. And again reach to all who call upon him. Ana upendeleo. He is no respect of persons. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo usiwe na shida ukasema Mungu ana upendeleo. So don't have a problem and say God is with respect of persons. Ni bwana kwa wote. He's Lord unto all. Tajiri kwa wote wa mitao. Wa mitao kwa Wa mitao kwa imani. Those who call upon him by faith. Wa mitao kwa imani. Who call upon him by faith. Wa mitao kwa imani. Who call upon him by faith. Wanaojifunza kutembea kwa la Mungu. Those who are glad to walk in that of God. Mungu ataonekana kwao. God will be seen unto them. Hana upendeleo. He is no respect of persons. Haleluya. Haleluya. Bwana kwaya kweli leo wamengara. The choir members today were very smart. Au mmeonaje? Piga tena makofi kwa kuimba kwao. Wake up again for the singing.
It's only one mother from Mariakani. Denied herself and said, I feel in my heart. I dress the choir members. Only one mother. She has so many needs, but she denied all those needs. Blessings come through wrestling. The blessings of God come through wrestling. Jacob wrestled with the angel. And said, I'll never forsake you until you bless me. He was dislocated, but I said, I'll never forsake you. It's almost dawning. He said, now I've blessed you. Many don't want to dislocate because they don't attain blessings. But Jacob accepted to be dislocated. Let him be led to good things and be led to pay this debt here. But he has fulfilled the debt. That's what it means to dislocate. The child to be led to go to school but to fulfill that of God. That is what it means to dislocate. Amen. Amen. Blessings are there tomorrow for you. God does not respect your pastors. When you see you don't attend good things. You are truly serving, but you don't want to be respected. When you get to an area where you'll be blamed, you've not fulfilled this. You'll eat not according to your budget. You feel you're not fulfilling that of God. But at the time your budget is settled, when you look at, at the month according to your budget, no shortage will come around. That's when you do that of God. So you are rejecting to be dislocated. Amen. Amen. But dislocation is where when you do that of God truly, the landlord will knock on my door. But you come what may. Come what may. Oh, meteguka. Okay, you are dislocated. Malaika atakubarik. Hail, bless you. Amen. Amen. Nali weli walo. Come what may. Nali weli walo. Come what may. The door to be locked with the door is all that this meant to come upon me, but to fulfill that of God. You won't go far from me. You'll see the gates opening for you. When you see you don't attain the blessings of God, and you say I'm serving God. You're truly doing it. Well. But where, where you need to be dislocated, you reject to be dislocated. You reject to be dislocated. I accept to be dislocated. I cover the house with pots and papers. A lot of swampiness in the house. And I had something to serve the house. I felt from the time you are saved, what have you done to me? You've seen a brother bringing 100 bags of cement here. And I had to something to buy 50 bags of seven. I felt so envious from the time you said, what great have you done unto God? You want everything to be provided for you every day. Now do away with your house. They're serving your house. Bring 50 bags of seven to church. I had not bought even one bag for myself. So once I did that, let me stay in the house covered with pots and papers. I felt the peace I've never felt. Okay. Yet that peace, that peace, that peace, that peace is God visiting me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before a number of months, I was told wherever you are, come back. There's a sign performed here. This location. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This location. Jacob wrestled. Leave me, I won't leave you. Leave me, I won't leave you. Till it was dawning now. He knew this man here. 
She's limping that time, dislocated. But he's resting at the same time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was blessed. Baba Mwanzilisha Kateguka. The founder father dislocated himself. The children stay the whole year not going to school. He said, let them stay. The whole year not going to school. Because how will the preachers go for the gospel? People never knew the significance of giving unto God. The little salary God of the day. At least to get the fare for the preachers. That dislocation. For certain the children not to go to school the the is what has brought us all these blessings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You can say, for me, why for me? God is respectful person. He's not totally. He says, whosoever fears him is accepted. Everybody who fears him. Read Romans 10, 9 to 11. He says, not the Jews, the Jews, the Greeks, but his Lord, and to all who call upon him, and again reach unto all, who call upon him by faith, who confess he is the Lord, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He's alive together with us. Yesterday night, midnight, one brother very far. A preacher that is. Midnight was calling. Hey. Okay. I have problems. What is it? My legs are swollen. And it was Friday. He was to go to church. He says, pray for me. Very far. Neighboring country. Now close your eyes. According to your faith, okay, we prayed. When we were woken up in the morning, I forgot that report. Because many called me. Yesterday evening, I saw a call coming again. What is it? What does he say again? He is calling and laughing at the same time. I know this laughter has peace. He says, when you prayed, so I stayed for a number of hours. Now the swelling was going away. Come evening today. I'm here. Right now, I'm in church very well in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Through his faith he believed that when a brother prays, the Lord will do something. He set his hope to the Lord Jesus. God is not respectful person. He says, whosoever believes in him and fears him shall be saved by his own faith. By his own faith. In his heart he believed the Lord is able. This swelling, the Lord is able. Right now he's on the pulpit preaching. I told him you're standing on the pulpit preaching. They'll also happen unto you. Amen. The way you encourage other people. Now you encourage yourself then. God strengthen him. He's very well with his shoes right now. Tribulation is there on earth. But be of good cheer. Because I've overcome the world. And it's not respect to pastors. He said, when you confess me the Lord. And believe in your heart that God raised him from death. You shall be saved. You shall be saved. Amen. Amen. You shall be saved. When you confess Jesus in your heart, he's the Lord. In your heart, being very certain that Jesus is the Lord. He came from the tomb. He's alive. Be certain that way. 
by money, by faith. You shall be saved. Na aminiye, and one believing doesn't commit sin to God. Have that faith you are and your thoughts please him God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says you shall be saved. There's no difference between the Jew or the Greek. He is Lord unto all who call upon him. Do you accept to be dislocated? Amen. Amen. Our mother dislocated. She had so many needs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But she set her needs and said, I hear her voice this way. I said, You fulfill. That's why you see them so glittering. Christmas is forthcoming. Amen. Amen. The field is very much open. The court is very much open. The court is open. Read for us. Romans 10, 9 to 11. Our God is no respect of persons. Mm-hmm. Na kwa kinywa ukiri hata kupata wokovu kwa maana andiko la nena kila muaminie hata tahayarika kwa maana hakuna tofauti ya Myahudi na Myunani maana yeye ni Mungu wa wote mwenye utajiri kwa wote wa mwitao bas that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Anasema, he says, When you confess Jesus is the Lord with your mouth, and believe in the heart that the Lord God raised him from death. And you pray with a certainty. Believing the Lord has done it already. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In your heart being very certain. That God has heard. And he has done it already. They shall be yours. And he has no respect to persons. He has no respect to persons. To the Jew or the Greek. He has no respect to persons. It doesn't matter your years in charge. He has no respect to persons. It doesn't matter your sentiments. He has no respect to persons. Be certain. Jesus is the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he shed the blood. That she may take away my sins. And you confess without any shy or shame. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says you shall be saved. Amen. Amen. He says he has no difference between the Jew or the Greek. For he the same Lord over all. And again, he is rich unto all who call upon him. And he says. Whosoever will call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. Amen. Whosoever calls the name of the Lord shall be saved. Why shouldn't he be saved? And Jesus is the Lord. He shed the blood for the sake of our sins. And he said it's finished. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Are you certain that way? Whenever you pray unto him, do you believe that way? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe that. The Lord Jesus never called me to die from the release of a curse. And they stayed in me as if they never live one day. They sat on me. I was right here clapping very well. The devil got to a point and told me, you'll never see 2002. Okay, so, so I won't see. That voice started from June 2001. Because I feel so pains in my body. And I believe in our God. So I used to question myself. Did he take me from a place in Chony? From the liquor coconuts there. Those who came there the other day for the burial. In our home, people take liquor and the women. But he took me from that area till I came here. 1976. I rejected personally. God. Did you take me in the midst of my brothers and my fathers? I never saw my great my grandparents. It's only the mother to my mother that I saw. For a number of years then she passed away. But my grandparents, I never saw them. Amen. Amen. So you take Amen. me out of the middle. You bring me to the center of the truth that says. Before you are a missionary, that you get the revelation to give one the know-how. Of the hindrance to his good, what is it? Then I died from the list of Pakas here. So, Jesus, why did you come from the sepulchre? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you overcame death. And overcame death. You, re you resurrected Lazarus from the grave, fourth day, stinking. The bones were separated from the flesh. You restored life back. The, the dry blood started flowing in the muscles. The stinking went away from him. So I'm still living here. My stinking is nothing. Amen. Amen. I believe the Lord Jesus. Who resurrected Lazarus from the grave? He also resurrected me. And by faith he has resurrected me. The curses that are making me Lord. Jesus remitted and nailed on the cross. And he was healed. Through his stripes I may be healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe in that. Through listening to the men of God. Rotting is there. Afflictions are there. No peace in my chest. There's no peace in my body. No peace in my limbs. But when I stand to praise God, I sound them well and very much okay. That is faith. I've stayed over and I didn't ask you. In the evening, the elders question, where is everyone? At least one brother to sing here. I never used to argue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was happy. At least to help each other the work. Amen. Amen. And I'm grateful today many are doing the job. That's why I love so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I sing. The chest is congested. But along the way, I feel my chest is open and relieved. I believe Jesus Christ, the Lord, 
aliyeniita hapo niitia nikae na mashaka haya he called me to die and stay naye hana upendeleo and is not respectful ni bwana kwa wote his lord and to all tajiri kwa wote wa mtao richard to all who call upon nikaamini ya kwamba haya yote yamenipata i believe all this have come unto me dhambi katika dhambi zangu the cause is sin lakini yesu ulikuja kuokoa wenye dhambi but jesus who came to save the sinner wa kwanza ni mimi i being the first one here chungu kwa baba na mama bitterness to my father and my mother Uhadui kwa baba Mungu nisamee and let me to my father god forgive narudia na kurudia i repeated and repeated na kulia machozi moyoni mwangu and weeping in my heart hata machozi yenyewe kabisa kwa macho real tears physically kutamani siku tunaweza kurejeshwa nyuma tunaweza kuwa reverse bu hivi reverse kuna vile umesikiza wimbo umeupenda like you listen to a song you last song ndio ningependaje baba angekuwa yuko hai i would have i would have my father nisamee but god forgive me weeping and shedding tears that time. Toba, hey. that is repentance hallelujah hallelujah rema za mungu zikaja the masses of god came maombi ya watumishi wake by the press of his hours akaniokoa na pigo hilo she saved me from that plague hallelujah hallelujah mana yes because jesus ana tofauti he has no difference ana upendeleo he is no respect of persons ni bwana kwa wote he is lord unto all tajiri kwa wote and rich unto all waaminio who believe in him amen Amen. Leo mimi today for me. Napata usingizi. I'm sleeping soundly. Usingizi amani hizo ulikuwa ni wakutafuta. In the past I could suffer to sleep. Ni wakutafuta. I need to see. Leo usingizi wangu si wakutafuta. Today my sleep is very much okay. Unda si wakutafuta. I don't need to wonder. Neema za Mungu wa baba mwanzilishi. The masses of our God of the founder. Haleluya. Haleluya. Neema za Mungu wa mwanzilishi. The masses of the God of the founder. Neema za Mungu wa mwanzilishi. The masses of God of the founder. Haleluya. Haleluya. Zikashuka huko. They descended unto me. Mimi leo usingizi wangu si kwa usiku. Today my sleep is very much so. Nisiweka kichwa hivi umekuwa. Once I put my head down it comes. Hata sijaweka kichwa ndio huo umekuwa. Before I set my head down the Zamani sleep. hizo in the past usingizi wangu ulikuwa wa kutafuta. My sleep was very Yes walikuja. Jesus came. Tuwe na uzima that we have life. Tuwe na hotel and have it abundantly. I'm surprised you are committing sin to Jesus again. Matapiko mleo yatapika mnayarudia tena kuyakula tena. All the stuff you vomit and you are eating and back. Tena mwataka Mungu afanye kazi. You still want God to work with you. Marudia dhambi tena. You are repeating sin again. Magesti tena huko. Going back to the guest house. Kama mlikotoka marudi tena huko. Why you came back from? Tena mwataka Mungu afanye kazi. You still want God to work with you. Mungu hana upendeleo. God is not respect of persons. Haleluya. Haleluya. Marudi tena huko huko Misri huko. You go to Egypt. Marudi atapata vyenu vya kukauka huko tena. You repeat your dry chapters in Egypt. Kwa uchungu na vita mijini mwenu. Bitterness and battles in your homes. Na wakezenu. With your wives. Kule mlikotoka ndo mnarudi. Where you came from you are going back there. Tena mwataka Mungu afanye kazi. You still want God to. Si Mungu huyu wa baba mwanzisha mama mwanzisha. Not a God of the founder father and a father mother here. Amen. Amen. Ndio mtaona leo ni wasiwasi hofu. That's why you see today what is and Hata yale mliokuwa na imani nayo leo ni hofu. You believed in Tarifa barabara moja na wale wasioamini. You go and work in the same room like those who are damned because you've gone back to sin. Kutopendana, not loving one another. Vita mjini mwenu, war in your homes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hajabadilika Yesu. Jesus has not changed. Yeye yule jana leo na hata mimi. The same yesterday today and forever more. Na ametutia ufalme wa mbinguni. Na ufalme wa mbinguni siku la wala kunywa ni haki na amani. The kingdom of heaven is not needed. Na katika rombi. Worship and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tusomee tena hapa. Read for us again the same. Kwa sababu ukimkiri Yesu kwa kinywa chako ya kuwa ni bwana na kuamini moyo wako ya kuwa Mungu alimfufua katika wafu utaokoka kwa maana kwa moyo mtu huamini hata kupata haki na kwa kinywa hukiri hata kupata uokovu kwa maana andiko la nena kila muaminie hata atayarika kwa maana hakuna tofauti ya Myahudi na Myunani maana yeye ni bwana wa wote mwenye utajuri kwa wote wa mwitao that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation 
For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why stay here. Knowing Christ Jesus has come. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He is Lord unto all who call upon him. And rich unto all who call upon him. But for you to have that riches and that prosperity in the name of Jesus, a branch bearing what? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A branch bearing what? As I started, Jacob had to wrestle. And he never doubted that wrestle. He said, I'll never forsake you. It's until you bless me. I'll never forsake you. It's until you bless me. I'll never forsake you. Until you bless me. I'll never forsake you. Until you bless me. Salvation is through wrestling. Amen. You want peace in your home? You say, never forsake the word of God that says, you husbands love the word. You say, never forsake the word. Till I attain peace. It doesn't matter the way. It doesn't matter she started. It doesn't matter she has done what to do. You are abiding that of God. Without any doubt. Without hesitation. You are insulted. You have been dismayed. God to see you standing right there. You have been called worthless. Which type of a man are you? But you don't forsake doing good. You say never forsake loving. To the end of the world. Amen. Wrestling that way. And you do that without any doubt. Being certain that is of God. And it is God who said you are the one. Love your wives. And turn right there without any doubt. He is Lord unto all. He is Lord unto all. He is Lord unto all. Rich unto all. Who puts peace to all. And brings life to all. There is no respect to persons. Wrestle that way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He shall be seen unto you. He shall be seen unto you. He shall be seen unto you. You are getting tired easily. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was right here with my wrestling. The devils were resisting a lot. That I say now. Let me go back to the suicides. And I say, if it means dying in Jesus, it's enough the time I went to the suicides. The charms I wore are enough. It's enough. It's enough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's enough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wrestling. Wrestling. We are wrestling against the devil. He is very present. Our fights not by flesh or blood, human, but the forces of darkness we are fighting against. Hallelujah. 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 Truly, Jesus Christ came and saved me by the place of his servants. I had a rotting somewhere, disturbing me a lot. One day I could not go to church to be okay. I was calling the servant of God. You've sent me fully, but I won't be able to do it. What is it? The battles I tell you every day have come up again. There's an area I used to have battles in my body, denying me peace. My joy is never full. I feel it by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wrestling that way. Salvation is wrestling. Salvation is wrestling. He said, brother, we are praying for you. 
Wiki nzima hiyo. The whole week that. Nika ya mswa asubuhi. Woken up in the morning. Yeye yeah, amepiga simu tayari hey, ndugu mwangu. He calls me brother how have you woken up? Namwambia vita viko. I tell him the battle is still. Lakini naamini kwa maombi yako. But I believe by your prayers. Vimeisha. They are done. Na yeye anasema. And he says hiyo imani yako hiyo hiyo you are very faith kule kuona kwako kwamba vimeisha the way you sit down basi hiyo imani yako hiyo so your faith there ndio itafanya kazi is what will work with you kule kuona kwako kwamba umepona you are seeing that you are healed vita viko lakini waona vimeisha battles are there but you see they are done ikiwa lazaro alikuwa ameosha if lazarus had died siku ya ine, fourth day tena yesu akarejesha uhai jesus restored back life basi mimi hata damu zangu bado zatembea so my blood is still flowing here mimi kwa yesu ni zaidi i'm more than lazarus ananiambia he tells me kule kuona kwako you are seeing hiyo ndio uzima wako that is your wellness wiki ya ikuisha before a week ended ufikie alhamisi come thursday nikasikia mwili zi i felt the body so cool hallelujah hallelujah Wandugu wakaja kabla ya Alhamisi. Brother and came before Thursday. Mtololo na na na, na Changoti. Pastor Mtololo and Pastor Changoti here. Wakaja siku hiyo siku. They came that day. Wiki hiyo hiyo. Same week. Wakasema tumekutafuta kanisani tumekukosa. They said we've been seeking for you in church you've not seen. Wakasema wacha tukamtembelea na nini? Then we decided to visit. Maana si kawaida yake. It's not normal to. Nikawaambia getini hapa. I told them you sit here. Hata mmefanya vizuri kuja. It's very good you've come here. Maana nilikuwa na na maneno moyoni. I had issues in my heart. Ambayo natamani muhubiri nimweleze. I decided to tell a preacher. Haya getini hapa. Now you sit here. Kuna hili na hili na hili na hili. There's this matter and this matter and this matter here. Nilikuwa karibu niite muhubiri. I was almost to call a preacher to come, okay? Haya. Now then. Wakaniombea. They prayed for me. Amen. Amen. Haya amani ndugu amani. Now brethren, by and by. Mieleka. Wrestling. Wewe unataka uzima. You want love. Na una mieleka ya kutubu dhambi. You don't wrestle to Wasema ni aibu. You said this shit. kama mimi. One like me. Tai kama hii. Atai like me. Shetani tai yako. The devil doesn't fear your tie. Wala aogopi madaraka yako. Neither does he fear your rank wala usamani wako or you are all in charge hata wewe una miaka 50 ndani ya kanisa you are 50 years old in church how god he doesn't fear that amen amen na mungu hana upendeleo and god is not respect of persons kokoka ni mieleka salvation is wrestling bas so nika nikasikia enda magotini i feel like go down on knees saa sita mchana midday mwili unawaka moto the body is burning lakini nikasikia amani but i felt peace Nasikia amani baada ya kutengeneza maneno. I felt peace after mending my issues. Basi, kwenda hapo so, magotini mungu. Going down on knees. Unisamee uniokoe. God forgive me and save me. Tena naomba hivyo kutoka ndani ya moyo wangu. I pray that way from down my soul. Toba kutoka ndani ya moyo. Repentance from down my soul. Nikasikia mwili unazizima zizi. I felt my body is cooling down. Ni nini? What is it? Oh, okay. Amen. Amen. Ni uzima umeingia. This wellness coming in. Nikasikia amani mwilini. I felt peace in my body. Saa 11 nilipofika nikaja kanisani hapa. 5 I came. Na ilikuwa ilivilishinda hata Jumatano hata Jumapili. And I could not come even on. Na huo ukawa ni mwisho huo. And that was the end of everything. Paka kesho. To my future. Paka kesho kitu. To a day after tomorrow. Yesu alikuja Jesus came ili tuwe na uzima that you have life tuwe na tele and have it abundantly tele abundantly Hana tofauti ya Muyahudi he has no difference between the Jews nani, or the Greeks au wajana or you came yesterday au wajuzi or you came the other day au makajuzi or you came that Bwana kwa wote Lord unto all tajiri kwa wote rich unto all haleluya haleluya wa wamfuatao wasio na shaka who pursue him without doubt maana mwenye shaka hapati wewe because a doubter will never get answered shaka the doubt ndio shetani ametia shaka katika mioyo ya wewe the devil has got doubt to many people's hearts meomba alafu wasema eh you tena tutakuwa kweli then you question will it truly really happen here ile hakika shetani ameondoa meoni mwako the satan to the devil has denied in your heart naye anasema mwendeaye bwana lazima waamini kwamba yeye yuko must believe he is na huwapa thawabu wale wamtafuta and he reward also seek him huwapa thawabu he reward also seek him
Utumikie Mungu. Umtolee. And give unto him. Na hakika yeye si dhalimu. Very certain is not unjust. Baraka zimekuja. Where the blessings come. Kufanikiwa kumekuja. Where the prosperity has come. Where there no prosperity around. Mungu akuone umesimama pale. Go to see you standing Na moyoni hamna shaka. And in your heart you're not doubtful. Hamna hata nimechelewa. You don't say I'm late. Kesho ataonekana maisha. He shall be seen in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tajiri kwa wote. Return to all. Wa mwitao. Who call upon him. Simu yunani, simu yahudi. Not the Jew or the Greek. Wanao mwita pasipo shaka. Those who call without doubt. Mana mwenye shaka ni kama mawimbi ya baharini. Because an, a doubt shaka. is like the waves of the sea. Doubt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana haka nijalia. The Lord enabled me. I never saw death next to me. I never saw death next to me. I was already numb inside. That's what saved me. The Lord enabled me. The devil said he won't sit in and two. I said it's okay with me. I won't sit in and two. You know very well that I want to see. I know the all the time is God, not you. How do you know 2002 I won't see it? Amen. Amen. Wrestling. Alinita. He called me. Not to die from the supercars. He called me to heal me. Death will come. In due time. Not because of diseases. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Bwana akanijalia hakika hiyo. The Lord enabled me the Bwana akanijalia hakika hiyo. The Lord enabled me the certainty. Kwetu. He took me from the Jennifer na magonjwa yana hapa to come and die from the ease of healing. Yesu ni bwana ni ufufuo ni uhai. Jesus is Lord life and resurrection. Kimukiri ya kwamba yeye ni bwana. When you confess the Lord. Na kuamini moyoni mwako kwamba yeye Mungu alimfufua kutoka wafu. And believe in the Lord. God raised him from death. Utaokoka. You shall be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you believe that way. Walking in the righteous ways. You are seeking peace with all people. Amani tangu nyumbani mwako. Peace from back na mkeo na mumeo na mwanao na mzukulu na mkasangana. With your wife, Amen. husband, grandchildren, daughter-in-law peace. Si waomba hivyo tuna una uchungu. Uwe na imani hiyo believe that you have nothing against anyone. Si mzukulu, si mkasangana, si mama si ala, si mother-in-law. Amen. Peace. Mitakuwa vyako. They shall be yours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why many are here with issues with their wives. You will pray, nothing will happen. You pray, but you have something against somebody. However, you speak in tongues. This is an empty tin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But a prayer of faith. Amen. Amen. That's why many have gone to a point and get tired. This one saved many in Chonya. I know them very well. They pray a lot. It made one old man to go to Kapecha. The preacher called me. Jumatatu. Monday. Ya bada ya mazishi. After the burial. Haka sema kutumishi huku. He said, Sabbath of God, there's a miracle in Kapecha. Umekuja baba moja na family yake yote. One father has come with his entire family. Hana sema mimi nimekuja. He says, I've come. Nimekuja. I have come. Na dini yangu kabisa, kina mushirika musupavu kabisa. I'm a very popular follower in my church. But I've said it's enough. The word is spoken that you may be prayerful and you know long fasting it's okay and very well prayed but to something against somebody. God won't work. I've come today to be saved and I belong to this place.
That's how Jesus says in Mark 11, Unaposali, When you pay in supplication, vita. believe that you receive, si tensi, they vita. shall be, wakati Mikesho, be tomorrow, and day after tomorrow, next year, vita kwa they shall be yours. So long as you believe. So long as you believe. Na kuamini kuwa na hakika. And believing with certainty. Kila ukiamuka havijaji unasema asante bwana kwa uzima. Whenever you wake up you say thank you Lord for life. Ah, okay. Shetani atakushangaa sana. The devil will be surprised with you. Amen. Amen. Kila ukiamuka whenever you wake up unasema asante Mungu wa. You say thank you God oh. Kwa kuniponya mapigo ya asima. For healing me the na asthma. Nakasende za kuozesha kila and mahali. And the syphilis to make my body. Unita niwe na uzima niwe na hoteli. You call me to have a banana life. Alafu unaimba imo ngovo 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 ya jambo. Then you sing this power in wonderful power. Dani mwa Yesu. In the blood of Jesus. Ngovo 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 ya jambo. Power in wonderful power. Thank you for the permanent house. I was in a in Polynesian papers. I was in Polynesian papers. But I see a permanent house far from Hola coming. Hola coming from Hola. Dio wa ingoja. Find your way. Lakini hapo na fanya ni. But what are you doing right now? Wafanya kumfanya bana yeso aje au na matendo ya uchungu na chuki na. Are you doing something Jesus to come or you are bitter and vengeful? Power in wonderful power. Damni mwa Yesu. In the blood of Jesus. Imongovo ngovo ngovo ya jabo. Power in wonderful power. Asante kwa nyumba ya kudumu. Thank you for the permanent house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anasema it says itakuwa vyako. They shall be yours. Nikawa vyangu. They became mine. You see today. Anasema amwende yeye. He says one day. Awe na hakika kwamba yeye yuko na huwapa thawabu wale wamtafuta. Those who seek him. Hakika. Certainty. Na hakika imetoka kwenu nyinyi. And the certainty has got out of your heart. Umejaa maswali mengi. You are full of questions. Ukitoa zaka yako 500 wasema inaenda wapi? You give, you give tight and question where does it go? Does it doubt? How? Ngovo, ngovo, ngovo ya jabu. Power and wonderful power. Dami, mwa Yesu. In the blood of Jesus. So you could not deny me that song. It sounds like I own all the story builders in the world. Yet I'm in a house covered with trumpet papers. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At a time you are with that, I don't know, I don't know whether, whether I'll die or I'm singing in the Pontian paper. One passing by says, this person, in Pontian papers, by says, but, I'm singing in the Pontian but, I'm singing in the Pontian papers, but, I'm singing in the Pontian papers, in Pontian papers, but, I'm singing in the Pontian papers, but, like the cockroaches in. Amen. Amen. Ngovo, ngovo. So I was seeing the house truly from far. Because God of the founder father never called me for this man. He never called me for problems. He called me for peace. Lateness to receive doesn't mean you've missed. But look at those who receive. What did they do? When they give millions, you give hundred shillings. You are serving God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bila kuona shaka without any doubt. Na hakika nimetumikia Mungu aliye hai. Satan itafadhalimu. Who is not unjust? Nitakuwa yako. They kaisa. shall be yours tomorrow. Ndio pasta akaingia shaka. That's why pastor to go to doubt. Hata amenunua leso, nimezoea mashaka yangu. She bought a leso I'm used to my problems. She has won now problems are mine. That's why like the servant of God. Mchungaji akaona mwenyewe anapita hapo. Mchungaji so her person. Hata hizo fahamu zimemwona. With the lesson they know how has gone away from her. Alinunua she bought the lesson. Amen. Amen. Akakubali kuonyeka na kufundishia. And accepted with the warnings. She was told, now go to the home. Then come back and tell me why you used to this problem. That's when sin was projected on her. You, you call your father someone that can't save anything. Such an old man here. 
Tunaweza kuokoa that can't say at, at home problem this man here. Wa okay. Akaja kuhubirini hapa. She came for preaching. Here. That time she was a preacher here. A young man who loved preaching also was brought here. Yet he has come to say he was not born to be a preacher. He's a business person. But he was, he was brought to come and bring salvation. We used to preach together. He had a tie. Call Mwakima. He's still my friend even today. He knew I've got a superman here. How will a preacher go without food? And the suit is here. Yet, okay? A cast doesn't observe you as a pastor. Amen. Amen. Okay then. Once she stepped on that door, her brother said, I don't want to preach anymore. Okay. I knew there's something good here. No, totally no. So, you continue preaching, leave me. The sun was very hot for me. The sun was very hot. And the sun was very hot. Everything dried up. Okay. Amen. Amen. That's why God told her. You call your father such an old person here. That's why your husband is made old too. Old in nature. Whenever he seeks, he doesn't get anything. That's why she came to the service. She said, I'm grateful. I've seen what made me I condemned my father. He could not save the home. Bible says, one cursing father. When Matthew 15:4. It says, Honor your father and your mother. One cursing father or mother. Let him die to death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A corpse can't be fed. Neither can it be given a comfortable place. Only on the sand. Amen. Amen. That's what you hear and taste from here. This revelation was given to Father Missionary. To save us. Don't be here in despair. However destitute you are, you'll be settled. Listen to the man of God. Let me to go think that I'm You are late, but you've not missed. If they had been through repenting their sins, you to take the same way. Being certain the Lord has done it already. Don't sit down after me. Then you are waiting for the problem to be. Whether it's still there, you are certain and forgiven. Go ahead and amend your life. Don't speak aiming this to God. Sin will hinder one to heaven. And the blessings of this world too. When you stay here for counseling and counseling. But you are aiming the problem to leave. Now, if it doesn't go to say, maybe I never shared with you. You confess and repeat again. Once you go to the Lord, be certain he has made it happen. He has forgiven. Continue forward. Go ahead for the forthcoming. Be certain Jesus has taken away. By his blood he has cleansed. When the problems are there, be certain the Lord has forgiven and he will make it happen. He has forgiven and he will make it happen. He has forgiven and he will make it happen. He has forgiven and he will make it happen. He has forgiven and he will make it happen. He has forgiven and he will make it happen. It shall be yours tomorrow. You are full of doubt. You are looking at the problem to live and say, okay, I truly shared very well. Shaka. Doubt. And God says a doubter will never get anything from God. James 1. Shaka. Doubt. 
When you go to a pole and go to down. When you saw a problem, you condemned yourself at the time Jesus took the seat. Jesus was surprised. You went back to sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chaka. Doubt. Chaka. Doubt. James 1, 5 to 6. Lakini mtu wa kwenu akipungukiwa na hekima na aombe dua kwa Mungu awape kwa Mungu awapaye yote kwa ukarimu wala hakemei naye atapewa ila naombe kwa imani pasipo shaka yoyote maana mwenye shaka ni kama wimbi la bahari lililochukuliwa na upepo na kupeperushwa huku na huku maana mtu kama yule asidhani ya kuwa atapokea kitu kwa Bwana if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given to him. But let him ask in faith nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a web of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I say, my mutu wa kwenu wa mipungu kiwa na ekima. He says, if anyone lacks wisdom. Na ombe dua kwa mungu wa wapaye wote kwa ukarimu. Let him pray to God who gives unto all. Wala ye akemei. Neither does he rebuke. Amen. Amen. Akemei ye ye. He doesn't rebuke. Ana wapa wote kwa ukarimu. He gives to all liberally. Because we are his children. Because we are his children. Yomana ni mutuma yesu mwana wapeke. That's why he sent Jesus only the God of Son. Kina mamine ya spote. That to serve a blessing in the world. Bale ya uzima watele na tele na tele na tele. But have a banner life. Akemei ni baba ye ye. He doesn't rebuke. He's our father. Akemei. He doesn't rebuke. Kina uombe. For you to pray. Pasipo shaka. With no doubt. Pasipo shaka. With no doubt. Bana mutu wa shaka. Because a doubter. Mutu yule wa Shaka, one who is doubting atapokea kitu kwa Bwana won't receive anything from the Lord. That's why you don't receive anything Mano, mtu wa shaka. because you are doubting person hallelujah hallelujah watumikia mungu kwa shaka you are serving god with doubt mtolea mungu huko una shaka you are giving to god with doubt unamwambia mungu huko una shaka singing to god with doubt unaishi na mume huko una shaka living with a husband with doubt ona kama ulikosea you feel you missed the way manyonge yako weaknesses are there eh okay kufarakana kwa muda kuko and rambles are there temporarily and some disagreements are there too. But you remember this is my husband. Even if you are stumbled. God was not wrong. This is my husband. When you see wrong was a little bit. You regret. You get to doubt. You say maybe I missed the way. You remember those who followed you. And you left them. That is doubt. Why are you not certain? The Lord was not wrong. To join me to this husband or this woman. Disagreements have been brought by the devil. Because of sin. Lord forgive me. Give us peace. So I had a lot of wrongs at home. I had a lot of disagreements at home. We didn't start our marriage in peace. We were solemnized here. Going home. Jumamosi Saturday Jumapili tukaenda kapecha Sunday we went to kapecha Haya Jumatatu tumefungaje tunarudi no. On Monday we were packing coming Tayari back Tayari hayo masanduku Already the bags Na ilikuwa hakuna tuko, hakuna boda boda And we didn't have the boda bodas Kutoka pale kwetu ilikuwa ni utembee pa kule Shariani You were to walk up there to Shariani Dada amebeba sanduku lake na mwana langu My wife was carrying her bag I also had mine she was feeling like dropping the bag because we never had peace that time. Everybody started with her fellow. Okay. And this is the third day. So now life started that way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because of her curse that I had. I thank God by many teachings of the Father and his preachers if it were not for the teachings we could not be together right now but the Lord enabled me to believe in that of God God says one getting a wife obtain it a good thing 
lack of peace is the cause of my sins. I believe this is a good thing. My own sins are causing no peace here. I believe in that word. Lord, you are not wrong to join me to this woman here. The devil has got all the problems. We were not fighting, but our hearts we are tired. Everybody condemned the other. Life was sour. But the Lord God oh, enabled us. After all, everybody to seek his pace. We used to blame one I another. I come for counseling, blame me. She also blaming me. The church elders were strong to us. Rimba, you come for a counseling, don't tell me about your work. Tell me your own state. You say, this is stern. Why did you see the polite one? One day the servant of God mchungaji. He was a church elder that time. The shed we have down there. I was standing there facing one side. Every time I go for counseling, I feel my partner is very wrong. I think they would have preached with this woman here. She would have, he would have preached to this woman here. The devil tells me this woman is very serious and harsh. Now, one day the man of God came out. I was facing one side. He used to walk very slowly. He came and whispered next to me. Every day counseling you say your wife is so harsh. Where did you see the polite one? Then he passed by. Looking at him, he was already gone. Every time you're counseling, my wife is very harsh. Where did you see the polite one? He whispered unto me and moved on. He didn't look behind. Amen. Amen. I didn't follow him. But the Lord enabled me to receive. It's very true. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I was unable to receive, when I was unable to receive, sin came to This is the water bubble. The angel has bubbled the water. Whoever will dip himself first to get the salvation, the Lord enabled me to be the first to dip myself. Because in my heart, I never disabled I was able to be the first one to do myself. The meaning is, I never argued with that one. I was unable to receive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sin was brought unto me. Amen. Amen. I normally testify to every day. I testify to every day. Mama. I've never seen my mother with rangos in the village. All of us in that homestead, we are one Our fathers are one. Their grandfather is one. Grandmother is one. The grandfather to our father, we got so many. Very many boys. More than ten. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, they also begat our fathers. Our fathers also begat us. So the homes on your soul. Our fathers are no longer there. But we are all one family. No other type there. We are all one family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, my mother from the time I have never seen her in Rangos. One who is very decent. Peace with all people. When she's walking in the village, I don't see her standing with anyone. And I was born. And my younger brother passed away. When I knew myself, they used to get children after three years. You breastfeed till she grinds some paper and put on the bed. When you try to, it, then it, it irritates you. Because you're grown up and still suckling. Now my brother passed away. 
six years, no one was behind me. Amen. Amen. So every time, whenever she goes, I'm the last one now. Going to the farm, she's going to my grandmother's place. I've got the know-how now. The, the devil told me one day, your mother is very noble, decent, and yeah. once you marry, you come and marry a polite woman like your mother here. Amen. Amen. That word came unto me openly. The Bible said, don't desire beauty. Oh, no trap you by the eyelashes. Why were you trapped by the and your mother's politeness and her nobleness is a beauty to your father? Why did you desire? Okay, very true. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why after knowing that and amending that word, peace came. When I forsook condemning my wife mimi, and reproved myself, she was not that harsh. I never loved to be taught or rebuked. And she lived in a home where she was rebuked and taught. I never wanted to be rectified anyway. You rectify me, we part straight away. And I won't tell you that time. In my heart, want to rectify me, I never love. Whether you are a preacher, I don't want you. One question is why did it happen, I never But never see me hating you. I miss so many blessings for so many years. The spirit of Akas, that is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I thank the Lord God all for the revelation given to our founder father. Today I could not be having a family. She would have packed and gone to their home. home. But by many words, and a lot of teachings, and the Lord enabled me the certainty, we are not united to live in darkness. Jesus joined us to live in peace. The Lord enabled me the certainty that God was not wrong to join me to this woman. This is a good thing. A good thing. A good thing. Satan in the The devil defiled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Satan in the The devil brought the violence. I love her. But the devils brought the wrongs. But by that one, the Lord, because I was sad, neither did I regret. I would have gone to that one. I would have gone to that one. Totally no peace. But I was sad, this is my rhythmate. This is my rhythmate. If it were not for my rhythmate, issues would have come to be told the marriage is broken. But to be announced three times and be silent. No, this is mine here. The devil will in the name of Jesus. The certainty gave me to attend the peace. The certainty. The Bible says, when going to be to be certain that he is and he reward those who seek him. Certainty. When you say your, your, your wife is petty, you are regretting. Certainty that this is my woman. The devil is evil. This is good person here. Be certain with her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even if there's anything hidden here that has strengthened her to bring sorrows and tragedies, the Lord will open in the name of Jesus. The Lord will reveal in the name of Jesus. And peace will come. Because you are never called to perdition. Are you one who is doubting? You didn't start the, that way in salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is saved today and today and forever and forever and forever and forever. You are the one getting to a point in doubting. You are serving him today with doubt. You follow him with doubt today. That's why he's no longer manifesting. But he has, he has not changed. He doesn't work with the doubters. A doubting person is like the waves. When you go to the sea, they are toes. But at the shores, they are so calm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Now a doubter will never get to the And you go to a point and go to no, doubt. You follow God without. Repenting without. Living with your wife without. Living with your parents without. Living with your husband without. And a doubter will never get anything from God. Certain the Lord called me for good things. The house is lacking some stuff. Some shortage of food. You feel regretting. What type of a man is this? Shortages are there. And being saved is also there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Love believes in all. Love believes in all. Going without food and being filled. They're sleeping in a permanent house. Against sleeping in a permanent house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read for us again the same. Then we go to Hebrews 11. Chaka. Doubt. Chaka. Doubt. A doubter will never get anything. 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 From the Lord. One going to me. Certain that he is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chaka. Doubt. The devil is a lie in the name of Jesus. Who are called to inherit good things. On earth here, and the kingdom of heaven too. And he says, Oh no man ever. But loving one another. One loving his fellow. One loving his fellow. Can't commit evil unto him. And that's the last command Jesus gave unto us. A new commandment gave unto us. Love one another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So may I pray for us? Five to six. Five to seven. To seven. Like in him to a coin, a kipungu kiwa na hekima. Na ombe dua kwa mungu awapai wote kwa ukarimu wala hakemei na yata pewa. Ila na ombe kwa imani pasipo shaka yoyote. Maana mwenye shaka ni kama wimbi la bahari ilo chukuliwa na upepo na kupeperushwa huku na huku. Maana mtu kama yule asidhani ya kuwa tapokia kitu kwa bwana. If any of you lack wisdom let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Such a person, who is he? One with a doubt. Doesn't receive anything from the Lord. A doubter. Will never receive anything from the Lord. A doubter. Doesn't receive anything from the Lord. One going to him. To be certain. Certainty that. The Lord. Call me for good things. Not bad things. One believing in this. Doesn't commit sin. One believing in God doesn't commit sin. I commit sin to God. And he's the one I hope in. He's the one I depend on. He is my shield. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is my shield. He is my life. He is my hope. I commit sin unto him now. One believing unto God can commit sin. He'll flee away from sin like Joseph. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How do you say you believe in God? That you hope in him. And when sin comes, you intervene. When bitterness comes, you involve yourself. When lust comes, you engage yourself. Because you have a thousand in the pockets. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God wants to have great to have mega companies. We have the preacher's construction. It ought to be constructed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's almost ready. The structure. Once it's complete, that is it. Once it's sealed it down, we'll set the foundation here. What have you given for that building? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People who are certain with their God. Amen. Amen. 
One mother brought this fire. She said, if it's good, tell me. When you stand here, the, the wind is blowing very well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ni mama. This is a mother. Fani ambazo hazishiki kutu. It this one can't be dusty. Technology ya kisasa. This is a modern technology. You just need to wipe. They are not rusting. Amen. Amen. Anafanya hivyo pasipo shaka. She is doing without any doubt. Sipanga anahitaji. It doesn't mean she doesn't have the needs with her. Zina pepea, zina pepea. They are blowing very well. Baraka ziko. Blessings are there. Lakini ni akena nana watakao mfata mungu wa zipo shaka. Who will follow God? Ibrahim wakambiwa mana wapeke. Nitole. Nitole mana wapeke. Abraham was told the only begotten son given to me. Huyu Isaka. Isaac here. Ilie kuomba miaka enda miaka rubi. That I prayed for so many years. Ilie awe muriti. To be a hell. Hey huyu Isaka mana wapeke. Yes Isaac your son. Na uliza huyu Isaaka. I'm asking Isaac here. Hey mungu wakamuambia kwa nuna ututu wangabu. God said how many do you have? Ni mumoja. Only one. What is the name? Isaaka. Isaac. Haya huyu Isaaka. Now the same Isaac. Sacrifice. Where is Isaac? Isaac, okay. I'm asking, how many do you have? It's only one. Sadak. Sacrifice. Where is Isaac? Isaac, okay. He was told the same Isaac. Okay. Okay. Come what may. Whoever gave me is God. And he has said I slaughter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He never doubted his God. Because he knows God is not unjust. I prayed unto him. He gave me Isaac. He is telling me I sacrifice him. He never had the doubt. My son. Today you know there's a day to offer sacrifice. Take the firewood here. Isaac carried the firewood. Where's the matchbox here? I have it, okay? And to Samburu, where is the ram? The Lord will provide the ram. Every day we normally go with the sheep. The Lord will provide the sheep. He was not expecting any sheep. He knew when I tell him you are the one, he'll run away. The Lord will provide the sheep. Okay then. He never doubted. The Lord is the one who gave me. There's one saying I give unto him. I'll sacrifice him back to him. And he truly did that. He spread the fire out very well. The son is still asking where the ship is. The Lord will give the ship. Then telling him, lie down here. I lie down, okay. The child is obedient to the father. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He addressed the knife very well. And saying, <laughs> I swear. God saw this man. He is truly slaughtering. He was holding the head. Then Abraham, I've known you love me. 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 Look behind. Look behind. When you look behind, kondo nono kupita zote ambazo ametoa miaka yote. A very fat ram. Ata wewe kuna baraka nono zina kungoja. You too, they are very great blessings. When God is commanding you, you give unto him with love. You question, I don't know what to do. How will I pay this debt? Amen. Amen. Shaka. Doubt. He never doubted. And God said, Sasa wewe utakuwa baba wa watoto kama mchanga wa bahari. You will be a father of the sons like the son of the sea. Watoto wako si Isaka peke yake. Your children is not like Isaac. Watakuwa kama mchanga wa bahari. They shall be like the son of the sea. Those sisi sote dunia nzima na kwa Ibrahim. All of us are the children to Abraham. Ibrahim. Abraham. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kini shaka. But doubt. And you've got to doubt so many Christians. After seeing God of the founder of the world, the great salvation of sin, being healed, callous diseases, through loving one another, and repenting sin, and walking in a holy way, today we've gone to hate trouble, and prating, serving him with doubt. That's why God is never manifested. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell him this afternoon, Lord, I've known after starting very well, I've got to doubt. That's why 
I don't see anything good after you starting very well. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, and today, and forever, and forever, and forever, and forever, and forever, and forever, and forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He works with those who have no doubt. Because a doubt I will never receive anything. You live with your wife doubting her. At times you see others are better. Even if you beautify your own, she'll be very nice. You see the choir members here are very smart because they've been beautified. Our father missionary used to teach very often. You say my wife is very white and dusty. You don't bring a body oil. They, 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 they smear saliva on their body. There are some who do that. They soap with their oil on their body. After bathing now, the soap is oily. At times she's white in the market. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those you see them beautiful. Their husbands have given themselves to do so. Amen. Amen. Are you the one doubting your wife? A doubter God doesn't talk with him. Are you doubting your husband? I doubt a God doesn't talk with him. Are you the one doubting your parents? You never see blessings. We have our two young men who receive the blessings. We told one, stop that talk straight away. You are here planting and speaking a lot of things. Did you come to lead or being led? You see people are wrong here. I knew he has a curse here. He was enabled to believe in the warnings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I told him, stay aside from work. We don't want you to step here. He obeyed. The Lord showed him. Why? Wherever you stay, wherever you go, you are one disintegrating people. You brought wrongs between your father and your stepmother. Now, when I heard him saying that, I said it very truly. He lived here bringing issues. Whenever he stays, too much noise. I said, Ella, this man has said the truth. This man here has said the entire truth. Because he received the admonition. He never doubted the word. He has accepted the word. That's why God has revealed this unto him. Today, there's a sign of great camp. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is standing right now. And there were two. Whenever I call his friend, but he was enabled the repentance. Today is flying with the vehicle, the aeroplanes here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are here but a master of your own. Whatever you want, you rectify. That is doubt. You are somewhere but not believing that nothing will get back to you. When they believe in the admonitions, they never doubted the warnings. Today they have inherited good things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They have inherited good things. One has been made the senior person in the entire Kenya and the whole world. Very great promotion. If you want any employment, go on to him. I won't tell you the man. Amen. Amen. Our God here. 
Bwana mwamtumikia kwa shaka. Why do you serve with doubt? Maliza na Waebrania 11:6. With Hebrews 11:6. Amwendee Mungu. One, one going to God. Uko hapa uko nje Mungu hawafanyi kazi na mwenye shaka. God doesn't talk with a doubter. Wakristo duniani wana shaka na kimungu. Christians are doubting the God wana of the world. Wanaimba, wanasunga, mundefu. Singing, fasting alone. Lakini wana shaka na kutembea kitakatifu. But they are doubting talking about yeah. it. Okay. Wako humu wanaona dunia ni nzuri. They feel the world is beautiful. Kile kikristo kwao wana shaka na jo. They Christian way they doubt a lot hawajivuni they are not kutembea kitakatifu vijana of, of working in a holy way they look ya fedha ikiwa hawaendi kwa, kwa njia za mataifa they feel ashamed if they will not work now mungu atafanya kazi na ninyi kivipi how will god work with you na mna shaka na njia ya kuokoka and you are doubting the way to save you mnapenda dunia you love the world na biblia inasema msipende dunia and the bible says don't love wala mambo yaliyo duniani for the affairs of the world mtu akipenda dunia when you love the world mpenda mungu hakumo the love of god is not in you ndio mtakuwa mtu awaambia baraka azichi that's why you pray for blessings they want because you're in salvation but you are doubting salvation you feel this something without any trend you feel the world is developing walking naked is a development Mungu afanye kazi na watu kama God doesn't work with such a people. Mungu wetu, our God. Mungu wa zamani is the God of all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mavazi yetu ni kama watu wa zamani. Our dressing code are noble. Watu wa zamani mavazi yao ni majoho. The, they had the robes. Ukiangalia hata wana wa Israeli tangu ndugu paka wadada. When you look at the Israelites, the men yao ni majoho. Their dressing code is the robe. Hallelujah. Anafunika sehemu zile covering all the parts ambazo that weza kuangusha mwingine can make one steamed ndio mavazi yetu sisi that is our dress uwe msichana whether girl uwe mzee whether boy majoho yetu haya robes eh tufurahi tena tusomee hiyo kwanza read for us first chaka doubt lakini pasipo imani haiwezekani kumpendeza kwa maana mtu amwendaye Mungu lazima aamini kwamba yeye yuko na kwamba uwapa thawabu wale wamtafutao but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to god must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him amende ay mungu lazima aamini kwamba yeye yuko one going to god must believe that he is uena hakika kwamba yeye yuko be certain god is waonga madhambi waamini yeye yuko you confess in believe he is ni sema tukisema kwamba hatuna dhambi he said when you say you don't have sin we are deceiving ourselves but when you confess our sins he is yeye ni mwaminifu na wa haki he is so faithful and righteous ana tuondolea na kutusafisha na udhalimu wote he cleanses us from all injustice anasema hivyo katika waraka wa Johana wa kwanza moja he says in first john nane hapo chini eight haleluya haleluya uo unamwendea uwe na hakika hiyo you go unto him be certain that kwamba bwana amechukua dhambi zangu that the lord has taken away my sins shida iko shida haijatoka what the problem is that unaamini nimesamehewa you believe i'm forgiven una hakika hiyo you are certain that unamtumikia na hakika you serve him heartily haleluya haleluya mwenye hakika atendi dhambi a certain person can't commit sin maana tumaini lake ni bwana mungu because he hopes in the lord god wengi mmeingia shaka many have got to doubt na mungu wetu huyu with our god yeye muona akituokoa serving us akitubariki and blessing us akituponya magonjwa sugu and healing us colors muona akitubariki we've seen him blessing us leo mbona umeingia shaka na yeye you are getting to doubt with him umfuata huko una shaka you follow him with doubt atawashiriki dhambi sitana amefanya mtumwa but taking sin the devil is not in the shaka because once you get to doubt na njia ya haki hiyo with the righteous way wepo atakufanya mtumwa wa dhambi the devil will enslave you sin lakini wenye hakika but the sat kama yusufu like joseph hawamtendi mungu they never come to god wana hakika mungu hapendi dhambi yeah certain god doesn't love sin hata ugenini alipinga dhambi even in the foreign land he opposed sin na bwana hakumuacha and the lord never forsook him alimweka kwa madaraka makubwa he set him in a very high promotion katika nchi ya misri in the land of egypt yusuf akapinga dhambi joseph resisted sin bwana hakika na mungu wa baba zake because he was sat with the god of his fathers alisema msizini he said don't commit adultery hallelujah hallelujah akatolewa kifungoni he was taken out of jail akawekwa madaraka makubwa and set very high kutoka jela from jail aka minister wa agriculture to agricultural minister misri yote akawa yende then to egypt he was the leader maana alikuwa na hakika na Mungu wa baba zake because he was certain with the god of his fathers akakataa dhambi he resisted sin bwana wewe waingia dhambini why do you get to sin kwa mtumikia Mungu unataka kivi you serve god without how na yeye anasema ni mzuri kama nini and this is how good it is wahubiria habari njema sana those who preach glad tidings of the lord jesus njaa kuko going without food is lakini uwe na hakika but be certain anasema ni mzuri kama nini ahubiria habari njema how good it is for those kazi hii uifanye kwa 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 kuipenda this work you do with love Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Kesho utaona mema. Tomorrow is a good thing. Jeho ni mtu wa shaka. Are you the one doubting? Jeho ni mtu wa shaka. Are you the one doubting? Nawaomba tusimame. I ask you to stand up. Anasema mtu wa shaka. He says a doubt. Kama na wimbi anakuja. I like the way. Kana kwamba yatafunika dunia. Bel kama si ndio kwa and stop at the show. Atapata kitu. He won't get anything. Naweza kuona leo. That's why I can see today. Niliona kitu leo sipati tena. I saw something today nothing is happening to me. Shida zile ndogo nilikuwa na imani nazo leo. The minor problems I used to believe today is worries. You go to a point and head out. Tafuta uliingia shaka wapi? Sick, where did you get to doubt? Neno gani ulikuwa na maswali nalo? Which word were you questioning? Mwambie Bwana, tell the Lord, wewe ni yule jana leo na hata milele. You are the same yesterday today and forever. Huonekani kwangu tena. You are no longer seen me. Because I got to doubt. Shaka na maongozi yaliyo ni uongozi nikaona. With the leadership that saved me. Nilifika mahali nikaingia shaka. I got to a point and head doubt. Bwana niponye shaka. Lord heal me from doubt. Unijalie kukufuata nikiwa na hakika. Enable me to follow with certainty. Nikutumikia nikiwa na hakika. Niishi na wanyumbani mwangu nikiwa na hakika wewe ni mbavu wangu I live with my partner with certainty Haleluya Haleluya nifanyalo in all I do Nilifanya nikiwa na hakika I do I do with certainty Bana mwenye hakika because one certain Bwana anaonekana That is the one the Lord is manifested unto him Right na tu Tu right na tu msifu What you to fry ten atoms if you are in the world, you are in the Mungu wa zamani Ni mungu wa msamaha Ni mungu wa msamaha Ni mungu wa inuae Ni mungu wa inuae Ni mungu wa kuokoa Ni mungu wa siye shaka Ni mungu wa siye shaka Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, and today, and forever, and forever, and forever more. He has not changed, and he will never change. If you saw him walking in your life, you are the one who got to a point and head down. Tell the Lord Jesus, heal me from doubt. Heal me down. After starting very well, why should I end in doubt? That's why Paul asked the Galatians, you Galatians, who saw Jesus crucified openly, who bewitched him, after starting the faith, why you end in the faith? Where does doubt come from? Where does hesitation come from? Hesitation from where? 
kutoka wapi? Thou to come from Mwambie where? Mwambie shetani umeshindwa kwa jina la Yesu. Said the devil that defeated the name of Jesus. Mwambie bwana Yesu. You tell the Lord Jesus. Uniponye shaka. Heal me from doubt. Shaka. Doubt. Wewe mwenyewe unajua. You know yourself. Ni mume umeingia shaka wapi? Is it your husband or not? Ni mfungu gani ulikuja ndani ya nyumba? What shortage came to your house? Usijua ya kwamba kufungukiwa kuko. No, no shortage is there. Ukaingia shaka. Then you go to doubt. Na moyo ni kusema sijui nilikosa wapi. And in your heart saying I was wrong. Kufungukiwa kuko. Shortage is there. Kuna anja kuko. Na kushiba kuko. Mungu anafanya kazi na wenye hakika. Baba ninakushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu wa mbingu na nchi. Mungu wa mwanzilishi ninakushukuru uliyetuchagua na kutuita utuhesabie haki, ututukuze. Na wewe ni yule jana leo na hata milele bwana Yesu. Angalia ndugu yule baada ya kuanza vyema anasinikiza na mwilini, akipanda ya mwilini si ya rohoni, shaka iliingia na shaka ina adhabu pendo limeingia lenye hofu shaka bwana ponya shaka ndani ya wakubwa kwa wadogo vijana wameingia shaka wamepewa kupenda dunia badala ya kweli nayo wabariki ponya shaka uwape kujivunia njia za haki katika wokovu huu uondoe shaka kwa wakubwa kwa wadogo kwa wasichana kwa wavulana watembee kwa njia za kimungu maana mungu ndio ubarikie kazi unazotafuta ziko kwako wewe madaraka wanayo yatafuta yako kwako wewe Mungu liye juu fedha hadha habu ni mali yako wakubwa wote kwa mapampuni ni wewe ndio waweka wakupende wewe uwaponye shaka kutoka leo wajivunie kutembea njia za haki asante Mungu amwe na kushukuru naamini Bwana ulianza vyema nasi tukuabudu beyond tukiwa na hakika kwamba wewe uko hai bwana Yesu. Uko hai na una tofauti ya Mwayahudi wala Mwayunani. U bwana kwa wote, tajiri kwa wote wa mwitao wa kuitao bwana. Shaka uponye kila mmoja. Hebu ndugu mpendwa. Yesu Kristo. Jesus Christ. Ana upendeleo. Anafanya kazi na waamuamilio. Wa mfuata wakiwa na hakika. Wa mtumikia wakiwa na hakika. Wa tuboa dhambi wakiwa na hakika. Wa ishio na wa nyumbani mwao wakiwa na hakika. Kwamba Mungu ni wa mema. That God is of good things. Hao ndio wanarithi mema. Those are the ones inheriting good things. Asante tumwombee ni Mungu wetu. Mwambie Bwana ni asante. Tell us thank you. Niponye roho ya shaka. Heal me the spirit of doubt. Shaka. Doubt. Umekuwa na shaka na mkeo. You've been doubting your wife. Ndio maana unaingia dhambini. That's why you're getting sick. Ulimhukumu wapi mkeo? Where did you condemn your wife? Ulimhukumu wapi mkeo? Where did you condemn her? Uliingia shaka na msemo gani kwake? Where did you doubt? Bwana shetani akufanye mtumwa. Where should the devil say? Wende dhambini. You go to sin. Baada ya kuanza maisha ya Ninakushukuru baba wa mbinguni asante. Tuondolee roho ya shaka baba. Baada ya kuanza vyema, shetani ametia shaka milioni kwa watu wa Mungu. Wanakutumikia wakiwa na shaka. Asante na kushukuru. Falme wa mbinguni asante. Ninakushukuru baba. Ninakushukuru mchungaji mwema ni asante. Ninakushukuru baba wa mbinguni asante. Kondoa shaka baba katika watu wako baada ya wewe kujidhihirisha maishani mwao. Kuwaponya magonjwa sugu. Kuwabariki leo wameingia shaka. Ponya shaka baba. Chetani umeshindwa kwa jina la Yesu. Vijana wameingia shaka. Ponya shaka baba kwa vijana. Wamepewa kupenda dunia. A dunia inapita na mambo yake bwana. Uwaponye shaka. Eh hey, baba wa mbinguni uwaponye shaka. Dunia inapita na mambo yake. Lakini neno lako bwana nadumu milele. Na milele. Na milele. Na milele. Asante bwana. Nakutukuza baba. Nakushukuru mchungaji mwema ni asante. Ponye 
Yes, Mungu wa missionary, Muzailisha, Baba yetu wa imani, na Mama mwanzilishi, uishie leo ndani ya mtumishi wako Bwana, Eshimail Mwazombo Rimba. Ni wewe Bwana uliyesungumza kwa usahihi mwingi ukikitumia kinywa cha mtumishi wako Bwana mchana wa leo. Na umetuona Mungu wa mwanzilishi, hatuna Bwana imani kwako, tumejaa shaka. Ni watu wenye shaka. Bwana tumeona mengi kwa sababu ulisimamisha mji huu. Missionary Mzee Elisha aliyekuwa mwaminifu Bwana kwako na akawa na imani kwako, hakuwa mtu wa shaka. Ndio sababu Bwana Mungu wa mwanzilishi yeye alisimamia kweli. Na hata akafanya wanawe Bwana kutosoma kwa maka mzima kusimamia kazi hii. Dirisha wasi kwamba alikuwa hana shaka kwako. Nami nina hakika Bwana kwa sababu umesungu Musa neno hili bwana ukimtumia mtumishi wako umeondoa bwana shaka kwa kanisa lako kutoka sasa bwana bwana umetumbia sote imani kwako upya kuamini kwamba bwana Mungu wa mwanzilishi unafanya kasi na wale waamini o bwana ninashukuru bwana kwa usahi mwingi ambao umempa mtumishi wako bwana roho wako amesungumza sehemu nyingi bwana kwa ajili yetu bwana tupate bwana kurudi katika msingi wa kutokuwa na shaka na kusimama neno na neno imani kwako Mungu wa mwanzilishi ninakuomba bwana Mungu wa mwanzilishi umufinike mtumishi wako umujaze ushujaa uliokuwa na missionary na mwanzilishi bwana ili imani hii bwana ipate kurudi katika msingi uliokusudia bwana maana ulimpa missionary na mwanzilishi imani hii na tena ukampa maongozi bwana na ninashukuru maana unatukumbusha bwana maongozi hayo ukimtumia mtumishi wako heshima ile mzombo rimba uliyomsimamisha katikati yetu bwana ninakuomba bwana umjaze nguvu bidii hekima marifa kutoka kwako bwana anene bila hajanena asungumuse bila hajasungumusa ili tupate kuokolewa Mungu wa mwanzilishi na neno shaka na tuwe na imani kwako kutoka sasa tunapotoka mji huu bwana ninakuomba tena Mungu wa mwanzilishi angalia family ya missionary mzailisha baba yetu wa imani na mwanzilishi bwana waliosimama kwa neno hili bwana pasipo shaka finika wana wao wachuku kila mmoja bwana mfinike bwana na utukufu wako na uzidi kuapa bwana kusimama kwa imani vile missionary alivyosimama bwana naamini bwana Mungu wa mwanzilishi utafanya hivyo nami na nashukuru maana mtumishi wako ameomba na nina hakika bwana kila aliyesadiki Mungu wa mwanzilishi umempa haja ya moyo utamuumbia kila mmoja bwana kuamini ombi hilo kwamba nimefanya kasi kwa sababu tumetoka katika shaka tumeianza ibada hii mikononi mwako Mungu wa mwanzilishi na tena nairekesha mikononi mwako nikiwa na hakika bwana uko pamoja nasi bwana tunapofumugana bwana Mungu wa mwanzilishi turegeshe majumbani kwetu kwa amani bwana wanaosafiri kwa vyombo bwana Mungu wa mwanzilishi kuwa pamoja nao bwana waongoze wafike kwao salama bwana na wape kulitafagari neno hili na kulitia matendo ni asante maana umesikia na umetenda na umetimiliza nani katika jina la Yesu aliye bwana tena mkombozi wetu amen asante mungu wa mwanzilishi asante bwana Yesu haleluya asante mungu karibu mama welcome mama Nina wasalimu katika jina la Bwana Yesu. Amen. Na Mungu wa mwanzilishi awabariki sana. Amen. Chagua 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 leo. Chagua 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 leo. Ewe baba, ewe mama, 